No. This is separate. This goes over here. This Yo, is over here. Oh my god. This is oh, fi Find this sensor. No, but this is separate. I know it's separate, but we need this harness over I here. Know, but this goes over here. But look, we should look have our this. Ends. It just ends too small. But we should have this end. Yeah, it's one of those over there. It's not none of those. All right, everyone. Welcome to another episode of Salvage Rebuilds. We're at it again. Uh, it's kind of late out here because it's pretty hot. I mean, it was at 90 earlier, so we're just kind of waiting for it to die down a bit. We did get a few parts. You guys can see that right there. Uh, I believe one of them is the wire harness and the other one is the intake res uh What is it? The washer reservoir? What is it? I can't remember. The water, not the water reservoir. Washer fluid reservoir. There you go. And uh, so right now we're gonna go ahead and uh, open them up. Put the, wa the washer. Why do I keep forgetting what it is? Anyways, we're going to put the reservoir on and uh, we're going to check this harness to see exactly what we need and uh, see what sensors we need and what we're missing. So you see, that's where it's ripped. Like you guys can see right there. See how it's all chewed up, all ripped up. Right here, no? Yeah, right here too. Right here. No, but just those two. See? So basically just three. So yeah, so we're, right now we're going to do that. It's a little bit windy, a little breeze. I mean, that's what we need. Yeah, it's all to start opening up these boxes. So we're opening the box, see what we got. Pop it out. Pretty small. See how good this is. I mean, we got it for 200 bucks. I wonder what's in here. I got everything we need right here. No. Start pulling, start pulling out those, those big dents. There it is, you guys. I don't know how you say that, Brent. Vivor, Vivor. Let me install it for you guys. Boom, boom, open. Like that. Oh, yeah, it is. Right? Oh, yeah, I told you. I didn't see this. I got that for a good Where's price. Like that? Brand new. Oh, the sensor? Yeah. Oh, do we see open? Oh, open it. No, but the sensor goes right there? Yeah, every, every single one of them have a sensor. Why should they not have a sensor? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. He's dirty because, I mean, he was changing the oil. And nah, because I was doing work. He was doing that's work. Why. Doing work. That's, what, that's, that's how it is. 24 hours. Nah, just kidding. Check that out. What is that right there? Washer fluid reservoir. Yeah, just keep turning it. Okay. Let me see. It's the exact same one as this, right? Ah, this one's about the same. Let me see. Bring it over here. Oh yeah, it is. Like yeah, that one. That one comes with it. Yeah, nice. it's the same. Go ahead and. Oh um, no! Oh yeah, it's the same. Yeah, it is exactly the same. Just go ahead and just unplug it from here, and pop this hose off, and we'll put it on there. So we got everything on there, but we don't know how it goes. But I look at some pictures right now on YouTube or something. I mean, no, the headlight goes connected right here. No, it doesn't. The headlight goes up here. Yeah, but. No, uh, that's the, bra the brackets right here. Nothing goes right here. What the heck? It goes like that, how you just had it. I'm telling you, like this, look, it fits perfect. The hole goes right there, the hole goes right here. Oh, okay. See, look, he's got it. So we don't need to look. But over here, look, there's a gap right there. Oh yeah. Well, this is after my. Right now we'll, we'll, right now we'll do that. Let's let's open up the. Well, I don't know where the where the blue thing is at. We're gonna it's right here. It's on there. Yeah. So, this should be the wire harness. I mean, one of you guys reached out to me and you guys told me you guys had a 
I uh, basically a brand new wire harness laying around. So, I mean, hopefully everything is here's how it is. Oh, there it is, you guys. Oh, so okay. much. Well, yeah, so complete wire harness. But we don't even need it. We don't need all of it, but I mean, it was, nobody was willing to clip anything off. So, let me spread it out and we'll see. It's, oh, in order for you to find yeah. out. No. Oh, shit. It's, uh, it's going to be on this end. Oh, it's going to be right here. Look. No, no, no. Where is it at? Oh, it is right here. Cause, oh, I think it's this, maybe. Let's spread it out. Yeah. This one looks like it goes to the fire wall. Let's just spread it out. Let's see. Dude, imagine. Well, now we know where this goes. Well, I don't even think this right is the right wire harness. No, I'll just wait. Something seems off. What's the harness? Something seems off, dude. Because I find it weird how you got these big, big ones right here, but I don't see. But they're not those. Look how different they look. This dude shipped us the wrong harness. Bring that bring that in? No. Oh yeah, it's that end right there. Bring it? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Bring it, just bring it. I think oh, it is that. I think I broke. No, it's not. Wait, what do you mean? I'm confused. That's a separate harness. No. This is separate. This goes over here. This Yo, is over here. Oh no, my goodness. This is oh, find this sensor. No, but this is separate. I know it's separate, but we need this harness over no, here. No, but this goes over here. But no. then we should Look have this. Ends. It just ends too small. But we should have this end. Yeah, it's one of those over there. It's not none of those. It's none of these. Wow, these shits are annoying me. I think this dude shipped us the wrong harness. So we screwed up. I screwed up actually because I ordered the harness. I thought it was the engine harness because it goes, uh, you know, from right here all the way in, this one. and it goes all the way up there to the. Does that? Uh, to the. It goes kind of like up here. I mean, you know, in the hood, but it kind of goes up here and it goes that way. So I kind of thought it was the engine harness. But I mean, yeah, I guess this is this is the engine harness. But what we need is not the engine harness. We probably need the chassis harness. Can I search your chassis? Yeah, we probably screwed up. I, I screwed up right there big time. And, yeah. Shoot. Yeah. We got that in. It's pretty easy, just two bolts. But this harness, we're probably gonna sell it like I told you guys, honestly. Ah, oh, dang it. I mean, in the meantime, we're gonna try to pause this, this dent right here. Um. Right here's kind of de right here's dented, and we gotta pop it out from here, um, right here and down here. So we don't want to. I don't want to weld it on there yet. You know, use a our brother weld. The meantime, he's doing that. I did get this kit, so now we're gonna try to use the suction cup. I think it's the wrong one. Is it? Oh no! Wait, there's another part. It was right here on the floor. That one? Yes. So we got the suction cup, came part of the package. Try it. We don't have nothing to clean it with. You think this will really work? Yeah, I think I've seen them use some type of liquid, honestly. Let's see. Let me try putting it. Oh, we popped it out. We popped it out. It's stuck there or what? But it, I don't know how to. I never learned this second part. Oh, you put just put your thing oh, there. Yeah. Oh, now you have to go down there. It did pop out, right? No, it's still dented right here. Look, just put it right there. Yeah, right there. Exactly right there. Nice. And just pop that bitch back in. Well, you gotta figure this out. You see? Kind of did pop out a bit. You dented it more. I didn't. Told you. Trust, I can see from my angle. I'll fix it right now, don't worry. Yeah. 
Right here, you can't, you can't fix that no more. So, you guys, um, yeah, we're calling it a day because it's already 8. So, um, tomorrow, more than likely, we're going to come in early, even though it's hot, and uh, move the car around, start, you know, probably in the morning, I'll probably buy a grinder wheel. We have the, a grinder, but we need a grinder wheel, and uh, we need those hammers. Um, it's not, we can't just get any order, ordinary hammer. And uh, an extension cord, and then we're going to start, uh, you know, Running down the quarter panel because of the door, I I think we can pull it off. You know, with just uh, with the grinder wheel. I mean, with just with the suction cup alone. But I mean, we'll see. But more than likely tomorrow, that's what we're gonna do. So today we're calling it a day. We'll see you guys in the morning. So it's the next day and uh, it's pretty hot. It's marking 86, but it feels like it's 95. So right now we're heading to the shop and uh, we're gonna go ahead and. Uh, probably wash the car on the recorder panel, clean it up and uh, start grinding it down and try out the new machine that we got. We haven't showed you guys, well, we just literally just opened it in the last, ep in the last is the, um, yesterday, we just opened it up, but we, we didn't show you guys the machine, but today we're gonna go ahead and uh, set it up and uh, try uh, pulling some of those dents out on the quarter panel and see how, you know, how it works. If not, um, I'll probably end up returning it, but if it's good, I'll probably leave in the the link on the description below so you guys can know if you guys want to buy it. So, you know, I mean, we heard a lot of good things about that. Bib or Bib or whatever it's called. But, um, yeah. So, right, it's a shop right now, and we'll see how it goes. Yeah. We, we bought this custom seat. The handbrake's not on? The e brake, whatever. See? No, the tombstone? No, go, keep going. You could turn the wheel the other way now. Perfect, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Turn the wheel straight now. Yeah, keep going, you're good. You got a lot of space. So we're gonna go and, dr I mean, it's really hot. And we would love to work on it right here, but there is no way we can hook up, we can hook up an extension. So I'm going to drive it on the other side of the shop. So probably wash it, cause uh, yeah, we can't work on it like that. He's like, and he's gonna tell me, where do I park it? Where do I park it? On the other side over there, where we washed it. What I tell you guys. He's not, he's at least he's not afraid to step on it anymore. So we're probably gonna get this car a quick wash before we start uh, working on it. Roll the windows up, we're gonna wash it really quick. I'm gonna start washing it. I need to buy myself a, what is it? What is this, a pressure washer? We well, gotta buy one of those. Well, buy one and I'll, I'll, yep. I'll show you guys on the next video. So in the meantime, we're gonna start washing it.
we washed it but not so good just you know to get some of the stuff off because um, there's no point in washing it we're gonna park it under the tree again last time we washed it pretty good um it sat there and look what happened to it so uh, the most important part is washing these areas right here where we're gonna start working on and the driver's side door i believe there's a passenger oh, i always get those confused oh yeah this driver's side it's right here it's a little dent that should be pretty easy I take off the sticker right here with the razor. Probably do that right now. And then uh, start uh, hooking everything up. So I was able to pull some of these dents out right now. You just got one right here. I don't know if you guys can see that. And one big dent right there. And we're gonna, I know this dent puller is not strong enough to pull these over here. But we're gonna go ahead and try at least try to pull something before we start, you know, doing everything else. So I was able to pull some of these dents out right now. You just got one right here. I don't know if you guys can see that. And one big dent right there. And we're gonna, I know this dent puller is not strong enough to pull these over here. But we're gonna go ahead and try at least try to pull something before we start, you know, doing everything else. So basically we got our grind down already. Um, this is the ground. Uh, we're gonna start pulling it right now with this. Majority of the dents out, as you guys can see. Um, still got a few more things here and there. Straighten out, pop it back in, but majority of it's basically flat. So, so I'll probably start doing it just a little bit more right here. Grind some of these down a bit. Should I? Yeah, we'll, we'll I? grind. Yeah, we'll grind some of this down. And uh, next step is probably to start doing the door. We started doing the door, but just quick. Yeah. So right now I'll probably start grinding that down. So honestly, I would recommend this. I mean, it actually worked for us. Uh, we did, we were able to, my dad tried his method and was, you know, drilling the holes through it, you know, and then um, for us, you know, we kind of started using it. And it actually, this works better because you don't got to drill holes through it. I know you're going to bond away either way, but uh, I would recommend this. Honestly, I'll leave this in the description below just if you guys want to, you know, try it out, you know, it's, Got it for 200 bucks discount but on that i mean it did pull majority of the dents out honestly um we just gotta like fix your fig figure it out right here hammer it in because kind of popped out too much but here's the quarter panel here's the full view I should have my read. you can see the majority of the dents are pulled out the next step is probably just start putting bondo on it, so grind it down more and then put bondo on it and try to get it straightened out. So here you guys can see some dents right here. Right here, so I'm gonna start grinding all this. Just try it out really quick, pull it out pretty good. So I'm gonna start grinding the rest of this. Let's go ahead. Oh, let me see the safety glasses. Oh, can I have to get you guys the safety glasses? Always have that. Oops, there we go. So I'm gonna start grinding the rest of this down. <laughs> So 
So we're already grinding it down the door. Um, we're gonna probably, I see some dents that are popped out more than what they are. You guys can see kind of like right here. I'm gonna hit, hit those down with the hammer. Should I just bend this a bit? The yeah, scratch? I mean, yeah, go for it. Right, move. I'm gonna do a perfect circle look like right here. Oh, yeah, you see like right here. I might as well. Yeah, just right, go for it. Cool. Yeah, sure. So, you guys can see right now, right now we're applying Bondo. Pulled all the. What's that smell? Pulled everything out. I was just bondoing it. Probably go ahead and do the same thing to the driver's side. And I believe we still need to order the, the gas cap, huh? I have it. You have it? Carbon fiber? I think. I think we got a carbon fiber one. We're not too sure. I think I did. I have to check that. Yeah, that's nice and smooth. Nice and smooth. Bond it to the driver's side. I'll probably just let it dry up and then uh, on the following video we'll probably go ahead and start. Uh, we're not finished yet. And then other than that, we're waiting for the headlight to come in. We already got that fixed. And the driver's seat, they already called us too to go pick it up. We already got the airbag installed and stitched. We did order some front end parts, radiator shutter. Probably need another, this, this, pro, this other plastic piece right here. Probably need that. So, I mean, does even this go for this car? I mean, it was in the car. I don't see. Oh yeah, it is for this car. And that's about it. We got. The, oh, we need. We got. We need. I didn't realize that these reservoirs. We still need the tube, as you guys can see. Pop, probably pops out like right here. And we still need the passenger fender line. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have to get that from uh, the dealership. This dealership. We don't got no local Nissan dealership here. He ran out of bundle, so he's applying more. The side skirt. Where's the side skirt at? It's in the shop. Let me show you guys the side skirt really quick. So here's the side skirt, you guys, that I was talking about. It's it's just damaged from right here. Nothing too crazy. I mean, we can always just sand it down around. Bondo it. You know, fill in the gap. That's about it. And it's repairable. This, on the other hand, I'm pretty sure it's like this. It looks like it's cut out. But I'm pretty sure it's repairable. I'm pretty sure it's just light though, honestly. So I guess this is brilliant. I found a piece to the bumper. He wants oh, to try to... Oh, it Oh, it was on the car? Yeah. Can you see? I don't know where that's at, but... Oh. Oh, okay. So I try to... Try it? Yeah. I mean, that's good. He found that piece. I would, I would recommend cleaning it. So here's the passenger side. We're, we're gonna let it dry up. We're gonna let it dry up. Okay. But honestly, I mean, it came out pretty good. There we go, look at it. So you guys can see. I mean, my dad does more majority of the body work. I mean, we're still learning this process when it comes to working on cars, like me mechanical issues or, you know, that kind of stuff I know how to do. But when it comes to body work, you know, he's the person we go to. But I'm saying it's just, you know, it ain't the final, you know, tomorrow we're probably going to send it down and probably start, you know, priming it and then probably get it painted. We're thinking about painting the whole quarter panel, the rear bumper, maybe the trunk to get all that blended in. Or in fact, we're waiting for the bumper too. Should be here sometime this week. Or maybe we might just paint the whole car. I'm kind of thinking about what do you think? You think we should paint the whole car? 
I think we should paint the whole car. Once we put that side, because we're gonna have to paint the side screw, the fender, the bumper. Honestly, we might as well just paint the whole car at this point. And let me know in the comments what do you guys think if we should buy this carbon fiber or not. But other than that, I mean, the car is there. I mean, we got all the dents out. Um, earlier, my dad was uh, trying to do it his way and, you know, drill the holes through it and pop them out. It was kind of working at some point until we had to use the, the spot, the spot welder. And I mean, that helped out with the rest. We were able to get the rest of the, of the dents out. I mean, you can't never get a dent out perfectly, never. I mean, you're always gonna have to use bondo no matter what. But other than that, I mean, came out good. So right now we're gonna go ahead and move the Chrysler and we're gonna move the, the Infinity to the other side and let it dry up over there. And then from there, uh, tomorrow, we'll probably start sanding the bundle down and then uh, start getting to it and start painting it. All right, you guys, I'm going to get some of my Ricardo seats. Oh, shoot. Uh, dang it. Oh, my brother moved the car. It's a little beautiful. Oh. Beauty. Hey right, guys, fucking safety glasses. Well, let me show you guys one more time. Oh, I can't flip the camera, but there it is. We got the bondo on already. We'll probably start working on the side screw and the rear bumper later today. And my dad did his part and he wanted to pull it out with the drill. Like I said, you know, it got to some point, but you know, we went ahead and used our way with the spot welder and it worked out way better. And that uh, take off already calling it a day. And uh oh hold on. There we go. Whew. So what well, we gotta order what? The passenger the driver's side horn is. We gotta we gotta fix the fender, we gotta fix the no not the fender. The side skirt, the rear bumper, and what else do we gotta do to it? You're good. We need an exhaust. I mean, let us know in the comments below what exhaust do you guys think we should get. And we're still thinking about maybe, just maybe getting aftermarket intakes. You think you should get some aftermarket intakes? And uh, that's about it. I mean, I can't think of nothing much. But other than that, I mean, thanks for watching and we'll see you guys on the next one. Peace. Bye.